Hi, Foresters. I'm speaking to you from Brown Hall, simultaneously the oldest and newest building on our campus. Originally built in 1878 and first known as College Hall, the building was later known as Young Hall and now for its grand opening this autumn, Brown Hall. Thanks to the generosity of trustee Bill Brown, his wife Solange, and many other foresters who care deeply about this college, Brown Hall will now house our social science departments, math, computer science and data science, and the Gorder Family Career Advancement Center. In all of those ways, Brown Hall really stands at the heart of our campus and represents the heart of who we are and what we do. For me personally, this new, this wonderful new facility is a tangible representation of two things the college cares about deeply, the preservation of our history and the liberal arts tradition that has guided the college for more than 160 years and a salute to the future and advance into the future represented by cutting edge disciplines like data science, our newest major African-American studies and still others housed in this building. In Brown Hall and across our campus, we are engaged in educating students for life and at the same time, preparing them, all of you students, for the careers you want to enter when you graduate from Lake Forest College. That's a mission that would make any institution proud. And for me as president, it's a source of deep pride in all of you and everything we do here. For the past year and a half, we've all been dealing with the worldwide pandemic and it's still not over. But I couldn't be more impressed or thankful for the way that each of you individually and Lake Forest College as a community has responded to the pandemic and the resilience that you have all shown in its wake. In a very real way for me, I feel like this fall represents a new beginning for the college. We are back on campus in a way that for much of the last year and a half, many of us were not able to be. And that's a transition that I look forward to sharing with all of you and am eager to experience with all of you in the days and weeks ahead. As part of this new fall semester, we have the largest group of new students the college has ever enrolled, nearly 530 new first year and transfer students coming in the next several days, representing 36 different states and more than 50 countries around the world just in our new student population. 20% of the first year class this year is made up of international students and 31% of our American students are students of color. And those statistics too, and the people behind those statistics, all of you students, make me again deeply proud and thankful that you are joining our community. In addition to new students, beyond Brown Hall, we have other new facilities on campus. The Oppenheimer Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation just across the lawn here on the second floor of our library, which is destined to become a hub for student entrepreneurial activity, new organizations that will be started, and a whole host of ways in which students will engage with the college there. The new Moore playing field on South Campus will be the site for the first time in many, many years for varsity lacrosse games this fall from our men's and women's varsity lacrosse teams, as well as um, our varsity soccer teams and next spring softball. Beyond campus facilities though, perhaps even more importantly, we're joined this fall, not just by many new students, but by wonderful new faculty and staff bringing to our community everything that they have experienced in their lives and their preparation for becoming foresters. And so to all of you new faculty, staff, um, wherever you are on campus, whatever your responsibilities or areas of endeavor are, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for bringing everything you bring with you. You're coming to a wonderful community and I look forward to getting to know all of you personally. It's true that as the pandemic continues, we still need to wear masks. We need to maintain social distance. We have other constraints on our activities and I wish things were otherwise, but I truly believe those constraints are a small price to pay for the opportunity for us to be back together here at the college as we will be this fall. 
I'm so eager to see all of you, so thankful that you are joining our community and grateful for everything we have here at Lake Forest College to enjoy together. With that, I wish you a great fall semester and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks very much.